Hello everyone and happy Friday. Before we share my analysis from these last few days, please remember that neither I nor the sim team from Crypto Briefing are licensed financial advisors. What we provide is not a personalized investment advice. It is merely our opinions based on our various research and diligence. As always, do your own research before making any decisions about buying or selling crypto. Okay, so let's have a look at Bitcoin uh, on a technical level and see where we're standing. So the key downside level, 28,000. If we started to weaken underneath there, maybe 26, maybe 25, we could test towards. Uh, the key monthly pivot point is situated at 31,500. Uh, the weekly pivot point is at 30,000. And again, uh, the key downside targets, if you break underneath 28,000, is easily going to be 27,000 and 25,000. Um, uh, daily price closes uh, below the 20-day moving average at 29.3 would be the first type of bearish signal that I look out for in the market. So let's have a look at Bitcoin on the charts now. And we can see here that there's two hidden shoulders patterns here. So there's a much larger one, which has got a ridiculous target that I'm not going to mention. And there's another one, the smaller one here, uh, which is playing out. And it hasn't uh, quite reached its target yet of 20,000 US dollars. So this is playing out to the downside, the consolidation. It could be that we're going to get a final push on this smaller head and shoulders pattern, which hasn't reached its target yet, 20,000. So that's quite interesting. Another thing to watch out for is that the 50-day moving average is dropping quite quickly um, over, the, over the last few days. So that's gone from 34.7 to about 33 something now. Uh, so that's generally a negative sign. Uh, so, so there's really two scenarios here. We can see either a double bottom and a recovery from 26, or we can see, see the price crash uh, that I'm mentioning. But the fact that the moving average is still dropping, um, it's not a great sign in short term. Um, again, uh, looking at the 50-day uh, moving average here, I don't see um, the possibility um, of the market getting past here at the moment. So what we could see, uh, maybe if we did get a double bottom um, in the market, maybe a pushback higher and test a 50-day and then get a big rejection, and then we see the fall off in the market uh, down towards the, the uh, small head and shoulders target. I'll also draw your attention to the fact that the 200-week moving average is close by there around 21,000. So it's definitely an area of interest for the market and a former key breakout zone. So overall, uh, Bitcoin technicals are still bad. We can't discount a rally from current levels if the 29,300 level continues to hold the 20-day moving average. A drop below 28,000 could cause a significant decline in the market. I will note, and somebody mentioned uh, this to me this week, and um, I've uh, rechecked it on my charts, and it is true that there is MACD divergence on the weekly chart up until 46,000. So I'll probably touch upon that next week when we get a little bit more direction. But um, it, uh, weekly divergence, it takes a long time to reverse. And with these market conditions, I think the only thing that could get it there would be the Bitcoin ETF news. So that's sort of, so there is some bullish divergence coming in around 46, 47 that hasn't been reversed. And again, 50-day moving average is pretty much a bad sign for the market at the moment. Okay, so uh, looking at Litecoin, um, if, you, if, if you look at the... Uh, spikes in token age consume. So the last big spike uh, was around 108. And since then, the market's been turning down. We saw a spike over the last uh, few days. Uh, this indicated we could get a big directional move in Litecoin. So maybe we're going to see a 20, 20 odd dollar move in Litecoin, which would be quite big uh, considering it's trading at 62. So uh, watch out for that. And the potential move that we could see, so you can see this trend line here, um, if we were to break above there, uh, then maybe we can go back towards 90 or even 80 or something like that. But above the trend line at 65, uh, there's definitely the potential, especially if Bitcoin's moving higher. And there's also a triple bottom on the charts to watch out for. Something else to note is this uh, is a much wider setup there. So this would be a breakout. And then if, if it moved above $90, maybe we can get towards 150. But what we would need to see is a Bitcoin ETF and Bitcoin going towards something like 46 in order for that to happen. So I'm just laying that out as a possible scenario. If it didn't happen and the market turns lower, I think we could probably see something like 40 US dollars, and that would test towards the October uh, lows uh, before the uh, market really started to take off in 2020 after the elections. If we have a look here, we have got some positive divergence, which is eventually flagging that we would probably get a move towards 150. But again, divergence takes a long time to, to reverse, especially on the higher time frames. Uh, so overall, uh, we're looking at a scenario in the short term where either Litecoin is going to go to 40 or it's going to go to probably 90. I think 40 would be a good buying opportunity and 90 really depends on what happens on the fundamentals. Watch out for a big move on the grayscale ETF because Litecoin and Bitcoin are closely moved. A return to $150 is even possible if we did see the ETF approved. Uh, bullish divergence until 120 is also seen on the chart. And thank you. I hope you found my thoughts helpful. 
If you'd like more, please click the subscribe button for Pro BTC Trader and join me every week on Wednesdays for our live trading war room and daily email updates.